Okay, so we're gonna again reflect an object in a full circle. So first we're going to create an object and I'm going to hold shift so it goes at a 45 degree angle and then create my little shape like a little ray of sun of some sort and so this is what we're going to now reflect in a circle maybe if I can make it there we go okay so we first need a center point for our circle so I'm using our rulers and I'm just dragging from them to the center of my page about and you can kind of see um, if I put this circle here as like an example where it'll line up I'll make it smaller and so we're going to line our shape up with the top edge of our circle and make it smaller so it has it can go around our circle more times so we select our object and by using this tool here which is the rotate tool we'll click on it and hold down alt or option which on my keyboard is this key here and click in the very center of our circle whenever you hold down option or alt it pulls up this menu and that's a very important part to remember so we want it to rotate um, by about 25 degrees or so you can click to see where it goes to. Um, if I make it rotate by less than that, it just overlaps. Or more than that, there just becomes a gap between the shapes. So it, it depends what you're needing it to do. So you can click preview to see generally where it'll hit on your shape. And so instead of pressing OK, we need to press copy. So click copy, and it'll copy our shape. Now I have to press command which is also control for Windows users and D and that will copy the shape as many times as I need and I didn't make do the math to make sure that it fit perfectly correct but it can keep actually going even as many times as you need so ta-da there you go